Hey, Steve Zook. Welcome back to Pokesu Channel and the Guitar Letter System. If you really want to take a quantum leap, it's not bullshit. Just go to Steve Zook Guitars and uh, invest the one ninety nine. Quit buying so much freaking equipment. Invest the one ninety nine, and we're gonna move you forward and have a much more deeper experience. Hey, this is a guitar I recently bought. I, I actually just bought this guitar for the hell of it. I mean. I've owned a lot of tellies in my life. I've always, this one has a very rare flame maple neck. I'm not sure if you can see that. You don't normally get that. That's probably one in a thousand. Uh, but I was just, I've had a lot of classic vibes that I bought and sold. Uh, but look at that flame neck. When you play the guitar, you look down, you see the flame. It's just beautiful. Um, and I, in my opinion, I know people like to argue with me about this, but it's a higher quality wood. But, uh, Kind of more like a neck like you'd see in a custom shop, you know, telly. Now yesterday, uh, I did uh, a little demo. I did a little demo yesterday with a, a Roland Cube 60. Uh, and I'm doing it today with my old PV, uh, old PV212 solid state. I swear, man, every time I play this guitar, it seems to sound a little bit better. So I think it's starting to... It's got a nice, nice, uh, nice tone, man. Anyway, yeah, Telly's are great. You know, Ted Green used a Telly for a ton of jazz stuff. Telly, tellies just have a unique tone. This one's made in Mexico. And, uh... And uh, I think part of the reason the telly sounds so beautiful, and I've always, I feel like I have an old girlfriend back or something. <laughs> I wish, right? Um, anyway, that's a whole other rap, right? Um, I think because you know these pickups are into the body, you know, it's not like they're attached attached like a strap to the pickguard and stuff. There's not a bunch of garbage back here. It's kind of a direct, you know, nonsense minimal approach, and. Uh, you know, I'm I'm a big big tail. I'm mean, I'm most I'm I'm admitted I'm more into arch tops, but I've always these are old strings too. I've always loved a good telly, and I've never ha I've had player you know Fender player strats, but never a telly. Pretty impressed. This is really a nice guitar, but this one's really rare with the flame neck. And I and I, I bought this guitar for myself. I'll be honest, if, if I can sell it and make a little money, I'll sell it, but I'm not selling this one dirt cheap. You're going to pay a little extra for the flame neck. If that makes sense, great. If not, that's great, too. I really don't give a fuck if I sell this or not. And the more I'm playing it, I'm like, man, this thing is sweet. I think the thing is, it's got that clarity of a great Fender guitar and a great Telecaster. But there's a nice amount of wood that comes through, too. And I know people love to argue with me. They, they say, oh, you know, neck doesn't have much of a difference. I believe everything, everything makes a difference on the guitar. And I think, the, so, I mean, I'm looking down right now at the fretboard, and I can see, you know, flame on the back of the neck, like especially in this area, it's pretty heavy. There's a little bit of flame on the fretboard, too. But uh, this guitar has that nice, just sparkling clear tone. I'm gonna get a little more, a little more volume. It's got a sparkly, you know, Fender clarity, but with a nice dose of wood and mojo and a beautiful. The 
this is a really nice guitar. I'm not going to go to the distortion mode, but anyway, I just want. I had somebody ask me if they, I could play it through my 212. But again, man, I, I have so little volume, I could probably get a ticket for having too low volume. But uh, I figure if you can hear a guitar with really low volume, you can hear it anywhere. And if you got a great clean, you're gonna, this guitar gets a killer distortion. You hear that crystal? Just gets it. Really a nice guitar. These strings are old. Needs new strings. Yeah, here's the middle pickup. I said I bought this more for myself as kind of a present. There's something about a telly that's just too freaking cool, man. You know, they're just they're just cool. I kind of like the fact that you don't have to put the string in the top too on this. You know, it doesn't have the usual hole, and that that can be kind of a hassle. But yeah, the neck. The, this guitar is one in a thousand. I mean, look around. You you probably won't find one other player telly out there for sale anywhere. I really don't think you will with, with a flame neck on the back like that. This this seems like more like a neck, like a custom shop. Maybe somebody working at Fender just said, ah, what the hell, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, bro, bro out somebody on this guitar. Because that flame is just gorgeous. I believe it adds to the tone. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to argue with people about it, but, uh, and it just looks beautiful too. When you look, like right now I'm looking down, I'm just seeing ch -ch 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 flame looks so cool. <laughs> This guitar is really near mint. It's got some of the really subtle little marks on the pickguard. I can't even see them right now at this angle, but you'll probably find them. But I don't know. It, it's very, very close to new. And uh, man, this is a, this is a nice guitar. But I bought this because I just I just felt like a telly, and I, I I know how rare this flame neck is on this, you know. Yeah, I just love tellies, man. They're just too cool, you know. Let's do one outside lick here. In, inside lick would be, you know. Outside lick using kind of a John uh, Charlie Parker diminished. And that could go with the look I shared the other day. So you could take that. That's a great lick. You hear sax players use that a lot. Now you can kind of chromaticize it. Sure, we're not sticking to the rules because rules are, you know, meant to be broken. <laughs> I hate thinking of it that way, but. Or you can double up like Varelli Legrin. strongest musical consciousness on the planet. Listen to him. Listen to do a search for Borelli Legrand standards. Unfreaking believable. Mm -hmm. 
And I like to hear jazz guitar players that have some picking technique. Thank you very much. There's some players out there who are also teachers that have almost zero technique for single notes. They do a lot of slides and a lot of pull. And, and they have a lot of knowledge. They're great players, good people and everything. But man, get some single note technique, guys. I don't care how old you are. But, you know, maybe there's a certain age where you can't get it anymore. I don't know. But I just like to hear some technique. I, I, I can appreciate great playing, even if it doesn't have much technique. But I, I really miss, you know, I like to hear a jazz player that has some single note technique. Even Wes Montgomery had some single note technique, incredible, and that he used his thumb, you know, Beryl Green, George Benson, you know, um, but I just think that, you know, developing single note technique, right hand picking and single note technique is the weakest area of a lot of players out there, unfortunately. Anyway, let's go back to this idea. <laughs> could then go into that Martino idea. And then this idea. Or. Well, I think I'll stop there. Anyway, I hope nobody wants to buy this from me. But don't send me an email and say, well, you know, I can get one for 800 over here. Or whatever. You know, I'm going to make a little bit of money on this. I'm not going to sell it. And you pay a little extra for the flame neck. It's a, I've got a lot of customers that understand that, you know, what I sell is pretty rare and pretty hard to find. But yeah, look around for another one with a flame neck. I think you'll have trouble unless you want to spend big, big, big thousands of dollars for a custom shop. Personally, I don't know different opinions on the custom shop stuff. I don't think it's worth it personally. But I love Fender. I think Fender guitars are great. I love the player series. I like the, I like the classic vibe stuff. I think Fender's doing a really, really great job. Um, so let me say that too. All right, guys, take care. Another shot of that flame neck. Not sure if you can see it, but it is absolutely beautiful. I, I Like I said, I think it does add to the sound too. This is really a nice telly. I used to have a 67 and I really, really dug it. All right, Telecaster, player series, really a nice guitar. All right, take care.